Hello again, everyone. It's another 2021 Miami football position breakdown for you today. I'm Steve Baker, the voice of the Red Hawks, talking with head coach Chuck Martin as Red Hawks get ready for the season opener at Cincinnati in fall camp now. And today we want to talk about the running game. And coach, uh, it was a shortened season a year ago and uh, a costly one as far as the running back position was concerned because uh, I think we were down to about three or four uh, in the chain trying to get some uh, running game going. But the good news is Jalen Bester, Tyree Sheldon are getting healthy, and you've got some depth that is showing there on the running back room. Yeah, it's really it's interesting just that we got some older guys we know can play. Um, you know, Jalen missed the season, Tyree missed the season. Um, we're, we're on track to get them both back. You don't know totally 100%. They're, they're, it's the biggest question mark in our program right now, mm -hmm. is coming into camp and do we get them back? Yeah, I think we get them back. Do we get them back that they look like they used to look? Yeah, I think that's going to happen, but it's still, we're not to that point yet. Right. And then Davia Johnson, the wild card, like Davian's one of the best people in, in the building and one of the most talented people in the building and one of our best leaders and one of our best player coaches. And, and he's showed glimpses of what he could do last year against Ball State that first half. He had right. a bunch of yards against Ball State running and catching. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we got to get him healthy. Like, and he's got to be able to find a way to stay healthy. Um, great teammate, great leader. Um, like I said, as good a person you'll be around. But we can get a lot more if those three are healthy and playing. We're loaded at tailback. If those three aren't healthy and playing, we're we're crazy and experienced and young. Really and young. and uh, again, we think they're talented guys. But there's you know the the David Afaris and uh, you know the Derek Snyder just got here and Kevin Davis and Kenny Tracy. Um, are all young guys that showed, you know, some Kenny Tracy and Kevin Davis played a little bit last year, showed some time, but they're, they're just puppies. They're, so um, it is probably the biggest question mark going in on the offense is the health of the running backs and then the experience of the offensive line. We do have a transfer in Keon Mosey. Um, we got Keon committed out of high school mm -hmm. um, to Miami. He was committed, verbally committed, and then obviously, um, you know, some people, we don't, we don't really recruit a bunch of guys that are committed else places. Some schools, Kansas State, decide to keep recruiting him, and they convinced him he's from Kansas City to go to Kansas State. Um, and then things didn't go the way he wanted there, so he gave us a call and, 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 and decided to, to come our way. So we were, he is a transfer, but we, we've, we know him. And, yeah, yeah, no, we've known him and the family, and uh, we're excited to have him. And um, he played – some as a true freshman last year at K-State. So he's a kid that adds a, not a ton more experience, but a little more game experience. Um, so we think we have tons of depth there. We think we got a lot of good players. There's going to be great competition. I hope everybody's healthy. So it's crazy competition if everybody's yeah. healthy. I hope it doesn't become last year where you're forced to kind of go to some guys that aren't as experienced as what you could have. Very good. Thank you, Coach. We'll talk about our final defensive group on our next position breakdown when we talk about the linebackers. 